Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we check out the SR25 condenser microphone from Earthworks. I have done my fair share of microphones on this channel and I'm always looking for the cool, the unusual, the good sounding, of course, and maybe not so common microphones for use in high gain guitars and maybe snare drums and even vocals. I want the most versatile microphone possible. And I think I found it in the SR25 condenser microphone from Earthworks. Now, before we go any further, today's sponsor is Sweetwater. And I am supposed to remind you that it is mic month over at Sweetwater, which means there are tons of deals and sales for all sorts of microphones and studio gear and plugins and just all sorts of stuff relating to studio equipment are on sale now. And I will also remind you that most things on Sweetwater have a 48 month financing options including PRS. So click down below in the description if you would like to take advantage of a great deal. Now the Earthworks SR25 is a small diaphragm condenser and I chose this mic because first, visually it is very, very striking. It doesn't look like a normal condenser microphone. It looks like, it honestly reminded me of the old microphones you saw on the prices right back in the 70s. It reminds me of a microphone that would be used in The Incredibles, on The Incredibles. You know, the Pixar film. Now we're gonna use this in two different applications for today's video. The first is going to be a high gain mix and I'm going to use it in conjunction with a Shure SM57 on a Mesa Boogie 212 cab and then we're gonna get a little sensitive and I'm gonna put it in front of my uh, Taylor Grand Pacific guitar. But first, let's uh, let's crank out that uh, that metal mix. Now the SR25 is extremely flat in its frequency response. It's basically totally flat and it also has a stainless steel housing and it can handle extreme sound pressure levels up to 145 dB or more. So the frequency response for the SR25 is 50 Hertz to 25 kilohertz. That is a very, very broad frequency spectrum which does make it perfect for guitar cabs and acoustic guitars especially. You will get the full frequency response captured of your acoustic instrument with the SR25. So keeping in that thought, let's go ahead and put this in front of my Taylor Grand Pacific guitar. This will be going straight into my Universal Audio Apollo 8 interface and I will be using a Neve 1073 preamp. So overall, what are my thoughts? I have used a lot of condenser microphones, especially in a guitar situation in my time, and I am absolutely in love with this Earthworks SR25 microphone. It looks cool and it sounds even cooler, and I will note that it plays well with others. I actually tried out the um the 212 cabinet with a number of different microphones, and sometimes you'll have a condenser microphone not really sound great on its own, but really reliant on the other mic. That was not the case with the SR25. It absolutely stands on its own, but I really wanted to uh, use the uh, Shure SM57 as kind of a baseline that we all are familiar with, so you can get a feel of what it actually does when playing with other kids, so to speak. And lastly, this retails for $619, which is a 
hell of a deal in the condenser microphone world, especially something this incredibly flat. Big shout out to our sponsor, Sweetwater. Don't forget that it is Mic Month. I will link down below if you would like to check out more information on the SR25 or any microphone over on Sweetwater.com. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Fluff out. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things, so consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.